Hey guys, Bob Morial here with the Tuning School, and on today's Tech Tuesday, I'm here with Dan from Precision Turbo, and we're going to hear something really unique that most people don't know about turbos. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here today with Dan from Precision Turbo at the SEMA show, and uh, I'm here looking at all these giant turbos. Obviously, we have like Toyota Scion size to Supra size over here. Okay, that's okay. We'll get that later, right? But basically, what we're doing is I want to I want to know something about turbos that most people don't know. And we were talking earlier, and it kind of piqued my interest. So, so yeah. talk to me. Well, you know, the, the term billet compressor has been out there for quite some time. Uh, I think that we might be built, might be guilty in, in uh, coining that phrase. What I want to talk about is forged compressor wheels. Uh, we emphasize a, a lot of uh, care in, in selecting our forgings. Okay. Uh, first of all, we, we start with a billet ingot it's a uh, it's a sub spec of 2618 okay so i got it an ingot is a well like a, like a blank like a a like blank a, yes okay. so it's a sub spec of 2618 designed specifically for impeller machining okay uh, what we do is well, it goes into a closed die forge not okay. a not a pancake forge a closed die forge that that pounds it into the grain or into the shape that matches the final shape of the compressor. Okay. Now what this does is get the grain structure aligned with the final profile of the hub. And this is actually what really caught my attention earlier because I didn't think that there was a grain to metal like this. There's a grain to every metal okay. and what we want to do is align that grain so that it best benefits the strength of the finished part. Now when people say billet wheel they think they're all the same. Well, some of the other billet wheels that are out there are 2024 aluminum, and they come from a, a bar, right. in which the grain structure is straight. Okay. It doesn't match the final shape of the product. Right. So, I mean, I can know, see it in the, in the lining here. You can actually see the lines of the grain. Well, that's that's the machining curve. The machining. But. Uh, He's the expert. What you have to do in order to see the grain structure is slice it, mm -hmm. polish it, micro etch it, and then we can see the actual grain structure. And we do that for every batch of wheels. Oh, I get it. So before one of those gets actually transformed into this, you're going to cut one open. Yes. See the grain inside. Yes. Ah, that makes sense. For quality control of the forging process. Okay. We always check. Now, that. I'm assuming that leads to greater strength when this is at. 100,000 RPM or something. Yes, well, what it does is it, it benefits to more freedom in aerodynamic shapes, mm -hmm. more freedom to reduce the hub, okay. which is what you see on our new Gen 3 aerodynamics. We've had our Gen 2, I think we introduced it in 2010. Okay. What we're doing today is introducing Gen 3, showing people what's next. Okay. Um, and so the, what's the primary benefit of like a Gen 3? Gen 3 is, uh, well, it's a completely new arrow, but just mainly it's it's a, the combination of a lot of minor tweaks. Okay. Uh, we've reduced the hub slightly, changed the ba blade shape slightly, the root fillet slightly, trim slightly, shroud contour in the housing, mm -hmm. and the, the and map groove. If I understand it right, the reduction of the hub size is a large player in, in airflow. <laughs> It is. For instance, we're introducing Gen 3 on this 85 mm -hmm. class legal turbocharger. We're restricted to 85 millimeter inducer. The only way to get more airflow out of an 85 millimeter hole when the hub is, is in the center of it is to reduce the hub, thus gaining more area. Makes sense. So, that, so you can move more air. Yes, that allows us to move more air. And right. from the beginning, the forging and and the uh, the care that we put into the forging allows the freedom in order to do this. Which makes sense because now you have the strength you need where you need it. Yes. To make and, the shapes you need. And you can't have a strong wheel doing that with a 2024 bar. I understand. Okay. So it's culmination of everything all the way back to the ingot, checking the uh, grain structure, and then cutting a proper shape into it to really get more airflow yes. out of the same diameter. Yes. Which is really cool. Thanks for talking to us today, Mr. Dan. All right. Thank yeah, you. Absolutely. From our high performance tuning knowledge, be sure to like us on Facebook and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.